Good morning, Chris. The team meeting is in the robot lab in five minutes. I tell people I don't come to work, I come to my playground. The robotics team at HP is comprised of myself. I am fortunate enough to be the engineering manager of this group. We have some folks that are specialized in artificial intelligence. They are masters of being able to interpret human intellect and understanding applied neurological sciences. And then there are other folks that are mechanical geniuses. So they are capable of bringing together the pieces and the motors and the controls that are necessary to execute what's in our minds into the physical world. They're capable of pretty much making anything on this planet. I haven't found anything that they can't make yet. Robotics is limitless. It doesn't really matter where you try to dream these robots, job, application. There's a need to enhance our experience and give us more time to be able to think about what we would like to do personally and how we spend our time in this world. The traditional engineer is the lab coat with the pocket protector, the pin bleeding out, you know, and they've got the uh, ramen stain on their shirt, right, you know, so we're not those guys. We're actually very, very fun people. We do a lot of awesome things outside of here that also inspire us in our jobs. When we go home, we, we don't shut off. We actually are just kind of moving our innovation mind into a different environment. And as we discover things at home or out in the real world, and we're behaving more like our customers do, that's where the best innovation comes together. And then we have another board down here that steps it down to five volts. We are making art for the world. It's very much functional art. to be able to um, do that for a living every day and get paid to do it is a dream come true, absolutely.